Or place, and you'll be amazing, Mr. M's on the mic. Turn up the bass. But oh no, wait, let's get this straight. We gotta be on the same page. Just take a second look at that sentence and break it down again. See, Mr. M is a proper noun, and it begins with a capital letter. Like days of the week and months of the year, and the places we remember. But the microphones were common, so we call it a common noun. They're predominantly, most commonly part of our daily commentary. It's going down, user. Pronoun to make your writing less repetitive by giving it a different sound. For example, Mr. M can be changed to him or I, and I can use the pronoun it instead of the word my. Which is cool, then at school, this is a tool you must apply. But what if you want some detail? What if you want your noun described? That's easy, use an adjective. An adjective's an additive, a collaborative describing word that gives your noun some life. Oh, you want examples? That's cool, I'll give you samples. On this occasion, my chosen noun is a castle. My adjectives are picturesque, towering, enchanting, appropriate associates to enhance your writing. But what's the verb of being in the doing word? I know you heard of it But if you haven't, there's someone help you learn it quick Think of the action and the acting in the sentence If you want to locate the verb, these are the words that need attention Forgot to mention the verb as an extension And it works by adding words, that's why we call it an adverb Specifically the how, when, where and in what manner To what extent an action is performed, welcome to grammar Hey, here we go This is the only grammar song you'll ever need to know And this is how we do, and this is how we roll To teach you all the little things you'll ever need to know Can you tell me what's a noun? And I can tell you more I can teach you adjectives and what we use them for Can you tell me what's a verb? And more about our verbs I can teach you all the things that you need to learn Yo, yo Excuse me, can I please have your attention? This particular interjection about the structure of a sentence. There's three types, the simple and the compound and the complex. The concept seems complex, but easy when it's in context. Of course, the first up on the menu is our main course. Of a recipe of a noun and the verb is called a clause. And if it stands alone on its own, a complete thought. This is called a simple sentence and an independent clause. What about when I use a connective between two clauses with complete independence? Conjunctions and connectives have a purpose of connecting to independent clauses to create a compound sentence. Oh no wait, let's get this straight. What if a thought is not complete? If there's a noun and the verb is, is the clause is obsolete? No way, this is an indication and the coordinate that when the thought is incomplete, it's labeled the subordinate to a main clause, a complete thought that's independent. By using this combination, you create a complex sentence. Forgot to mention, all three must be in the tendon. Here's a couple of more tremendous techniques that I'm recommending. So roll up, read all about it, take a look. There are two types of article. The first one's definite, similar to an adjective, but using the word the. It's specific to a noun and more particular, indefinite, it's separate Let's take a look, it's less specific By using the words A and and, it's general, do you get it? Okay wicked, now you're with it and get it, you got a shape up And turn this up, cause this song will help you get your grades up Go! Hey, here we go, this is the only grammar song you'll ever need to know And this is how we do, and this is how we roll To teach you all the little things you'll ever need to know Can you tell me what's a noun, and I can tell you more I can teach you adjectives and what we use them for Can you tell me what's a verb? But more about our verbs I can teach you all the things that you need to learn Verse 3 is punctuation A full stop is used to put a stop to a sentence But make sure your clause is independent And always followed by a capital An uppercase letter, they're compatible And definitely grammatical Come on, let's comment on commas Commas are used to pause Gotta make a list, check this To get the gist, you gotta be brave Comma, positive comma Discipline and focus If you want to progress And make a mark, use your heart from the start And to emphasise that point, include the exclamation mark do you get it that's the question and when we ask a question at the end of the question we use a question mark i'll speak about speech and our speech should always start with the capital letter and the pair of speech marks and when your speech is complete you need to punctuate it and close it with the speech marks there's no other way to make it okie dokie wakey wakey can we break this down when using brackets think of packages to package extra information like a word or a passage a subordinate clause could be found in the pair of brackets but if you remove the brackets and replace them 
with two commas You can make an embedded clause But that's only if you wanna My next philosophy is all about apostrophes And their two properties And how to use them properly A mission is the mission When an apostrophe is commissioned In the place of one of my letters When two words are in collision Next up is possession Expression of possession When someone or something owns something This is the weapon This is your lesson This is your license To create a compound word You need to link words with a hyphen Dumb, dumb, dumb Dot, dot, dot An ellipsis is used to pause or interrupt the force Or piece of speech to increase the mystery Ellipses can also be used emissively Can I go on and quickly show you how to use the colon To introduce the list of clause before it must be so low Semi-colons allow your thoughts to roll on By connecting related main clauses You're right, it flows on hey. Here we go, Here we go. the only grammar song you'll ever need to know And this is how we do, and this, this is, is how we roll. roll To teach you all the little things you'll ever need to know Can you tell me what's the noun, and I can tell you more I can teach you adjectives and what we use them for Can you tell me what's a verb, and more about a verb yeah. I can teach you all the things that you need to learn Yeah, yeah. Hey, here we go This is the only grammar song you'll ever need to know yeah. And this is how we do, and this is how we roll yeah. To teach you all the little things you'll ever need to know Can you tell me what's the noun, and I can tell you more I can, tell I can you. teach you adjectives and what we use them for Can you tell me what's a verb, and what about a verb yeah. I can yeah. teach you 